Hello everyone, stay tuned and get this look. My barrel rose and pipe cleaner curls, which I plan to wear to a festival. Hello everyone, today I'm going to do my hair in another updo, but this time, although I'm still going to have my bangs in the front with some pipe cleaners, and as you can see, my hair does need to be retwisted, but I'm hoping that my updo will camouflage that fact. So I'm going to put it in bangs in the front and in the top I'm going to attempt to do some barrel rolls. So I have been unsuccessful <laughs> with barrel rolls in the past. Sometimes I can do them, sometimes I can't. It happens to be a little late at night now for me because I had a long day. But I'm going to still attempt <laughs> to do the barrel roll because I really want them in my hair and I happen to be going out tomorrow and I'm waiting, I waited until last minute to do my hair as usual. So it's the night before, so that's not so bad, but I think I might need a few tries to get the barrel rolls right. But let me get started on it. So I'm not going to make my bangs too, too, I'm not going to make them too thick I don't think. In fact I thought about just sweeping the hair over like this and that's still an option. So I might decide to sweep it over instead of putting the pipe cleaners in it. But for now, because I need my hair to be somewhat the same length, for now I think I am going to put the pipe cleaners in it. So let me get started with it. Okay, I'm starting off by putting my hair up in a temporary, a temporary ponytail just while I get the pipe cleaners into the bang. I'm not making my bang too wide either, I hope. I, I don't want it to be too about too wide. So I do have some gel here that I'm going to be using just in case I decide to take the pipe cleaners out and have the top curly. And I have my trusty Olada body, which I'm using also to hold the curls in. I'll always put my lot of body in a spray bottle. Just spray the length of my hair. And I'm probably going to get, I'm probably going to have setting lotion all over my shirt. <laughs> so I'm pretty much wearing a shirt that I don't, I don't mind if it gets product on it. And I have my pipe cleaners right in front of me. Yeah, this one is looking pretty short, so I'll see how this one works out. I think my light is changing a lot, so let me try to adjust the light a little. Okay, that's better. Just going to roll this up.
I think the hair pin, pin fell. Okay. So this one seems to be sort of in. <laughs> I don't know. I'm probably going to have to do that one again. And it's too long. Roll it under. Okay, that's not so bad. Okay, so here's the next one. If if the if they do turn out too long or too short, I try to adjust the size of the hair that's in my bang. I thought it was gonna be too short, but it turned out to be too long. I decided to do a talk through video because it can be a little tedious to go back and do the voiceover. So I decided just to talk through and see how that works out. my hair I think I'm, I'll tell you all about some of the <laughs> computer some of my challenges I've had this week I've had some computer problems like crazy computer problems because I do a lot of work on the computer I basically work on my computer all day I have two, I have at least two computers, okay? I have to have one for backup because if I'm working and my, there's a problem with my computer, then I'm pretty much in big, big trouble. So, so I have at least two computers. And let me tell you that both computers went snap, crackle, pop this week. Like both, one after the other. I'm, I'm, I kid you not, it was just crazy. When the first computer went out, it went out after, and I, I'm pretty sure it was like after the Windows update. I hate, I hate Windows update. I hate it when it updates. All my computer gurus out there will tell me that, oh, it's necessary, it's very important, but I really do try to delay the updates as long as possible. So I just sort of kind of sort of kind of it slipped by me that it was going to update and I was just kind of like okay never mind go ahead go ahead and then not immediately maybe a day or two later the computer just had a strange message telling me to choose my to choose my country or my language and I chose US and then it just would not move on it just like I think it said that there was a problem I said there was a problem and it said either you know choose these options and it gave me some options to restart the computer well not to restart the computer it gave me some options to to try to start the computer I guess restart the computer I guess and I tried the options and they did not work of course so I tried, one of them was like to go back, to revert back before the update. I tried that, it said it could not do that. I don't know why. Another option that it gave me was to maybe use the command prompt and type, you know, type in some code from the command prompt. I didn't know how to do that. I didn't know what commands to type in. I know how, I can get to the command prompt, but I don't know how, what, you know how to solve that problem how to bypass that i call the the i call technical support and 
they try to walk me through all of this rigmarole, which tech support people out there, I know that you guys are reading from a script and I know that you have to tell us to take the battery out and clean the black battery and blow on the battery and do all this stuff. And then the, when the problem has nothing to do with the battery, okay? I know that you have to <laughs> tell us to do all of these different things. Unplug the computer, jump up and down five times, plug the, re the computer back in up. You know, I know you're supposed to tell us all that, but I was just like, I had, I had some things I had to do at a certain time and I didn't have time to do all of that. So I just told the person, I asked them, you know, when can I call back? And when I called back, I guess they left a note about me. <laughs> and when I called back, they just had me do one little thing one really quick thing and he is like okay just send the computer in and i still had like a few little questions nothing really big i just asked him can you please keep my data on the computer because i know how they do they're gonna reformat they're just gonna erase everything and i really can do that myself but I don't want to reformat. I wanted them, I want the data, my information to stay on the computer. I want them to fix it and send it back with all my information still on the computer, which is crazy. That's a crazy thought. They're never gonna do that. <laughs> so so he, he told me, the person told me, we were communicating in the chat, and he told me that, that all my information probably will be removed from the hard drive. And then they have the nerve to say, save your information. If I could save my information, I definitely would. And I wouldn't, if I could save my information, I can probably do other things that I need to do on the computer. But I can't do anything on the computer. It won't let me do anything. So of course I can't save, I can't do anything. I mean, I can have someone local try to fix the computer, but I, have a extended warranty for this sort of situation so <laughs> I just want to use this then I do want to go ahead and use this extended warranty and because even if I did save my information this is this is a God is good you guys because let me tell you I saved I backed up my computer literally the day before it went down. I promise you the day before, because I just kept feeling like I don't hear the voice of God. Like other people say they actually hear the voice. I don't, I've never really heard that voice, like a person talking to me like that. But I did feel like you need to back up your computer. It's been a long time since you backed it up. You need to back it up. You need to do that right now. Like I had that feeling and I was like, okay, let me do it right now. Let me go back it up. Because I do, yeah, I've, I've had some mishaps with my, not this computer, but I've had mishaps in the past with computers. And actually I've had mishaps with this computer before. Every computer I've had mishaps with problems. So I went ahead, I backed the computer up. And the next day is when it just gave me that crazy message and it wouldn't go any further. And I was like, okay, well, no problem, because I have my backup computer. So I started using the backup computer. The backup computer I have, I haven't used it in a long time. So I knew that it had some kind of issue <laughs> with it, but I couldn't really remember even what, because I never even used that computer that much. I never even used that computer. I can't even say that much. I never used that computer. I used, I used it a lot, but then, when I use the one that's now not working, I stopped using it. It's a backup computer. So I started using the backup computer. It was working fine. No problem. I was like, ha ha ha. I am so glad that I am grown and I have the extended warranty and then I have a backup. You know, I am so happy. That's what I was saying. That is before this computer suddenly computer number two suddenly decided not to charge the battery would not charge up in the computer it would not like and i was and i saw it happening i'm, I'm 
plugging it in it's not charging the the charge is just slowly draining out of the battery and i'm thinking what, what's going on what, why is it doing that any but i was more thinking please stop doing this charge charge now that's what i was thinking and i took that computer all through the house like a crazy person to every outlet <laughs> Not every outlet, but I took it to a couple of different outlets to see, like, is it the outlet? What is it? Is it the, you know, I have, is it the surge protector? I put it in like two different surge protectors. I put it in a wall, still went in charge. And then suddenly it did charge. It, it started charging and I got happy and I thought, oh, good. Maybe it's just, you know, where I had it plugged up, it's working. And I saw it charge like to, 16%, 17%, I was happy, like, okay, it's charging. And then it just stopped. And then, <laughs> I don't know if it's the hard drive or what, but then it would, okay, it stopped charging, right? And now when I plug it up or when I try to turn it on, cause it, was, it would come on and everything. And I was thinking maybe it's just, the battery's not charging, but it's plugged up, so maybe, I shouldn't even worry about this. Just let it do its thing, you know, just have it plugged up. It's and get in this computer, it's an Asus. The first one is an HP. That's the one that I um I'm sending back to because of it has a warranty. But the second computer that's not working, that one is an Asus. And that computer I don't think it has a warranty like I don't even remember I think it's it's old I don't think it has a warranty or anything because I think it's old and I never I didn't get the extended warranty for it but it has a belt built-in battery which I hated when I when I took it home and I realized it because I never heard of computers with a built-in battery that's before I knew that Mac some MacBooks have built-in batteries too but I didn't know that at, at the time and I was thinking what this is terrible but I kept the computer and I used it, you know, for, you know, for a while. So this computer, when it stopped charging, I was thinking, okay, here it is. You know, the built-in battery is causing me the problem. But the, because I have two computers, I didn't really, at least two computers, I didn't really worry about that. You know, I said, well, I'll have a backup or whatever. Shoot, I'll use my phone <laughs> if worst comes to worst. That's what I'm saying. You know, I'll use the phone, you know, to do some to do stuff that I can do on the phone. But now the computer, the Aces, when I turn it on, it just turns off immediately. Like it just like even when it's plugged in, it just <laughs> turns off. It just so I think it's fried. <laughs> Which isn't funny. I was really upset. I mean, this is all this all happened within a week. Within one week, like within a few days, like actually within maybe two days. One day the one computer wasn't working. The next day, the second computer wasn't working. So I'm thinking, hmm. What is this something wrong with the electricity or something? <laughs> what is going on? I'm so I'm so upset about that. And I have to mail the the HP back and I'm hoping that they return it quickly. They said that it's supposed to be within six days, I think. <laughs> and I'm trying to be optimistic that that they can fix it without without remove without changing well, no. Well I guess if they if they change the hard drive then of course all my information is gonna be gone. So I'm hoping that they can keep the hard drive in it, even though I wouldn't wouldn't mind having a new hard drive. So it'll be it'll be good, I guess, if they can keep the hard drive in it and keep my information. Maybe that's more important than getting a new hard drive. They can keep my information, even though it's backed up. It's just much more convenient because it's all organized the way I wanted it. <laughs> in that computer I backed it up to an external hard drive and I have it organized but now I have to I have to start all over again basically 
with another company. Not start all over again, but I have to put everything on there. I have to reorganize everything. Okay, so the front is done. This is going to be, I'm looking at the time and this is going to be a very long, this will be a long video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start on the top and I might do some editing to try to make it shorter. Or maybe I'll talk through this part too. But I'm making another ponytail. I'm making it a little bit bigger. And I'm putting the top up and I'm going to leave the black the back some out. So I'm just in the back. So I'm not gonna do anything with. Because I don't have time. But you've seen this move before. Because I have another video in which in which I you know, had pipe cleaners in the top and my ponytail. I had pipe cleaners in the ponytail, so I did, and I had the pipe cleaners in the front like this. So you've seen this before. But with this, I'm going to try to do some barrel rolls. Because my hair is all different lengths, it's been really difficult to do it but I'm gonna give it a try. So basically to make the barrel roll, you take some hair like this, and then you wrap some locks around the locks. So, I'm gonna use the long, the shorter ones to wrap around. I'm gonna wrap the long, longer one here around the shorter here, and see how this works. Okay, and you are gonna. I do have some some rubber bands here for the ends of my hair for these. Okay, I have all that left over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the long ones that's left and try to wrap that around the ends of the shorter one. <laughs> and okay, I still have a lot of hair left. See, they're all different lengths. So I think I'm, I'm going to just wrap this part up. That's what I'll do. I'm gonna wrap this too. Okay, and it's unraveling. And I definitely feel my arms are already getting, t getting tired. <laughs> I have the rubber bands here. They were right in front of me, like literally right in front of me. I just didn't see them because I also have the hairpins in front of me so I thought that they were hairpins. Now I'm really fighting to get this rubber band on. I'm really fighting to get it on. Okay. 
Okay, I got it. But I feel like it's going to unravel. Okay, it's not, it didn't. <laughs> I think I'm gonna put another rubber band on it. Okay, well that's one done. Let me try to do some others. Trying to stick this little loose end in there. I don't know if I'm going to <laughs> really do it. Okay. I might make these a little bit bigger than this, or a lot bigger. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so as you can see, I've pinned up most of my hair and I tried to hide this little piece here, but, but I still have to, I still should do it. Now I might do these smaller, the smaller one that I, the first one I did, it looks more like a, like a, it looks more like a barrel roll. The other ones in my hair, I have to admit, look more like twists. So the key for me to do my hair in the barrel rows is to maybe make them smaller for me. And then if I can, once I get the hang of it really, really, really good, then maybe I can make them bigger. But my hand, my fingers are hurting, my arms, everything. <laughs> so that's why I was trying to do them bigger. Cause it's really, hard to work with my hair with, in this particular style. Other styles is not difficult at all. But the barrels, it just feels very, very difficult. I feel like I'm struggling. And honestly, if I had the barrel rolls hanging down, they would look like they're struggling. <laughs> but pinned up, they don't look, they don't look bad. They look cute, I think. And on the back, pinned up. That's why I like pinning it up. Because even if you mess up, it doesn't look really... You can't really tell. Now, see how this one's sticking out? But I can pin the hair under the lock, so you won't be able to really see it sticking out. This is a little piece that was sticking out and sticking it in. Okay, it's about to fall. And my light here keeps turning around on me. There it is. Okay, so I have one more and I think I want to put it like across this way or something. I should put it around here. Yeah. Something like that. That is a huge bun. And I am going to, um, I am going to, I'm going to wrap my hair, it's nighttime as I mentioned, so I am going to wrap my hair up and hope for the best. <laughs> it'll be somewhat intact. It might be completely intact, but it'll be somewhat intact, at least.
Okay. <laughs> okay. That's what I mean when I say. <laughs> It's like a struggle. Sometimes it fights me. I think I need to make sure. I, I don't think I put the rubber pan on this one, on the ends of this one. And it keeps wanting to unravel. That I can use so in addition to tacking I'm gonna be pinning okay. so let me try that one again I think it was I wanted it to go around this way Talking and pinning, talking and pinning. I'm gonna try to tuck these loose ends in. I have smaller hairpins, shorter hairpins for, these are long, but oh, I have shorter hairpins. Wait a minute, these are long too. <laughs> Where are they show up? I have shorter hairpins. They're here, like this. This is the short one. Let's see. Three inch. I have three inch, two and a half inch, but I think that these are, I don't think I have the packet for these really short ones. Well, compared to these, this one's really long. So these I'm using like where my hair is sticking out and maybe I can't put it in exactly. I'm gonna try to pin them in. And they really disappear into my hair. Thank goodness. Okay. There's a pen that's sticking out. Hopefully this is intact tomorrow. I'll let you know. I'll show you. I'll, I'll film what it's like the next day, part two. Is it all coming down or is it still intact? So 
like I want this part to oh <laughs> to be put to be in. Okay. Is this this picking up? Okay, well, there you have it. Kind of twist, kind of barrel roll, <laughs> updo. And the back is just loose. But if I had more time, I'll probably put pipe, I'll put pipe cleaners in the back. But I absolutely do not have time to put pipe pipe cleaners in the back tonight or tomorrow when I because I have to get ready to go. By the time you see this video though, I would have gone and come back because I'm not posting it until until maybe far after when I return. <laughs> far after when I return. So stay tuned, the video about my trip will, I'll post that as well. That will, def that will definitely, there'll definitely be a video explaining where I'm going and what I'm doing and everything. And in the video, you can see if I still have my hair like this. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if my hair will still be like this during the video when I'm actually there. It might look completely different, but I'm hoping that I can keep it like this. It feels solid. It really does. It feels like it's not going anywhere. It absolutely feels like it's not going anywhere. So I am going to need to put some spray in it. And I see pins, a pin that's this. That's one problem with my hair, thick hair. Sometimes the pins, maybe this is a, no, this is a long pin. Sometimes the pins just will not go into my hair all the way. Okay, now I got it in there. Okay. Okay, okay well, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Please don't forget to subscribe. And I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up and share it. And definitely let me know if you've tried a similar style or this is that style with your hair. Let me know. All right. Bye-bye. Until next time.